Hello, Hello Floss Tube. We're, we're the, the real, real house size of cross stitch. I'm Priscilla. I'm Chelsea. I'm Cash. <laughs> and we're here, here to, to talk to you about our stitching this week. week. Okay. <laughs> I'm sporting my Christmas in July shirt. Ready for all things Christmas next month. We're yeah. almost there. And don't be wishing away June. We're still know, in I June. Know. I have a bunch of patriotic things to show you for. I will. Okay. I'll call you back when it's giveaway time. Yep. All right. Um, this week we, I baseballed. Um, we went strawberry picking. Yes, we went strawberry After picking. After strawberry picking, we went to DC Cobbs. I need to hold them there. And what they else? have um, these egg roll samplers that they make egg rolls that are like uh, an Italian, Italian beef, beef. There's buffalo a Southwest chicken. buffalo chicken, the our avocado. Favorite, uh, avocado. Um, but then they give you a sampler that you can try. So we always get that as an appetizer mm -hmm. too. And it's they have in really McHenry. Good burgers and we sat outside. It was really pretty. Yeah, and you can get a bunch of different protein like bison or a veggie burger. Or but it's you're... been really, really hot here, except for yesterday wasn't as hot. So I've been having to water twice a day, which is a lot. It, but it drastically <clears throat> changed two days ago. Um, it was 90, 95 degrees. And then the next day, yesterday, I mean, it was cool. Felt Not cool. here. It was still 80 something. Mm. Oh. But when we, we well, you went to Hydrangea, it was only 50 yeah, something. It was 50 something degrees last night. We went to Milliger's for this Hydrangea, I forget what they called it. Workshop? But they were supposed to have, well, they did. They had three different sales reps that talked to you about their Hydrangeas and everything. No way from Proven Winners? No. Well, they sold Proven Winners plants. Yeah. They grow for Proven Winners. Oh. Um, Monrovia. But they also grow the worry free. They grow some Monrovia. It was all, it was like they grew all the panicle hydrangeas. So they must have different places that grow like the mop heads and different places that grow the panicles. But anyway, um, we did that and I took Cash uh, and our older niece to the pool. We got a pool pass for Burlington, so we're going to be visiting there quite a bit. I had to get Zinnia. I'm not taking her in the pool, but I had to get her a swimsuit and she looked super cute at the pool. <laughs> super stylish. Uh, last week, we after the video, we went to the Big Milligers, did some plant retail therapy. Oh no, we didn't. We went to the Little Milligers and then later this week we went to the Big Milligers. And then I like went again last thing. night. So It's like a weekly thing. It's fine. Um, this coming week, I am preparing for Cash's birthday party. We're gonna do his birthday party early this year. And so I'm cleaning and cleaning and cleaning and getting nowhere. I cleaned up the whole kitchen, the bath, I cleaned up. And then the next day I looked around and I was like. I told you it's too early for that. I know, you'd think I had seven kids though. Like the way the house it's looked, I was like, oh I, I have no kids in my house. <laughs> it's just a lot. Yeah, she means living with her. No, they just run in and out <laughs> and drop their things along the way. Yeah. Um, we had some questions from last week. What stations do you watch all the crime shows on? Um, I, oh, YouTube. I watch YouTube, yeah. Yep. And the Karen Reed trial is really interesting. A lot of people have mentioned that they started watching mm -hmm. because of you talking about it. So she watched it. Um, another question in here is who's the hot guy that you're talking about? His channel is called The Lawyer You Know. Mm -hmm. That's who mom thinks is a little hottie. Um, <laughs> the kind of explicit... Kimberly thinks he's dirty. <laughs> the explicit lady she watches is... Yeah, I know, Emily that's Baker. Hilarious. Okay. Um, who else? Anybody else? Um, Lawyer Lee is pretty good about her recaps of things, too. Okay. So I watch those three. Okay. But I've been watching a lot of that. <laughs> a lot of it. Where do you find all the time to get so much done? Oh my goodness. I don't know. I feel like I'm, I'm in a vortex where I'm just swirling. No, I, I, I get to where I think I've got everything planted and then something happens where like one of my pots clogged. So then I had to go replace all those plants because they got waterlogged and how did I not see that? And then my pansies and my green stock because they were in full sun, they didn't do so well in those 90 degree days. So those had to come out. So now I have to replace those. So it's a lot. Would you change that? Huh? Would you change that? Would I change what? Like, would you rather have time where you slowed down and you had nothing to do? No. Right. We're both not those kind of people. Like, relaxing days for me. 
God the help stitching. Me. Yeah. Yeah. No, it doesn't happen. I do really look forward to my stitching time because that like helps me recharge. Yes. Uh, last week, a lot of comments about Cash running back around after he did his thing and he came and kissed in his hand and like, I didn't even acknowledge it. Not, you weren't saying that, but that is just like typical. I was in the shower a couple days ago and I take very, very quick showers. You know, the mom shower where it's like three seconds. You either shave your armpits, shave your legs or wash your hair You can get out. <laughs> um, and he, he was watching her. They were just watching a bluey together and I get out and he's shaking a bottle. He had made a bottle for her, thankfully. <laughs> caught it in time before he put it, but he knew four ounces. He knew how many scoops. I am like, show me how you leveled a scoop. And he drug it along the top to make sure and patted it to make sure that there was <laughs> enough in it. I was just like flabbergasted. He's like, I tried to do the binky and she didn't want that. So I, I think she's hungry. She just needs four ounces. I was like, I guess that's how much she takes. I was, <laughs> I was very impressed, but yes, he's a very good big brother and we are super, super blessed. Um, all right. What else? Is there a place where you list all the retreats you're going to be at with links to the hosts to be able to sign up? We need to get that information out there, but we usually just announce it here because they aren't our retreats, but. Um, we are doing a couple with Annabella's, but they're 2025 and 2026, right? In 2027. When yeah. are we going in 2027? They're both. Uh, New York? East. Okay. So I don't know if both are new. We're going to Disney Boston. World in May of next year. So yep. she has not, I don't think you can sign up yet, but. But we had a conversation with her to kind of go mm -hmm. through where we see ourselves. And, you know, I mentioned, depending on where I'm at in my life cycle, if I'm pregnant, about to have a baby, obviously it would just be mom going, but mm -hmm. mom will be at all of them mm -hmm. regardless. But we would let you know that that information before sign up, um, just you aren't let down if you mm -hmm. know me I'm not there the comedic relief underwear model I have a lot of titles um, but you can find her information on the Annabella's website so Elaine and Terry they put on fabulous retreats. Can you go check and see what those dogs are doing please? Cash. Cash. Thank you. They're making some noise in there that I'm not sure I'm, what. They put on fabulous retreats and we've loved attending yes. them. The, yes. I mean you can talk to any stitcher who's been to one and they've enjoyed it. And then we have our retreat in September, which I think is already okay. full. The stitching's already gone out, so. Yeah. Yep. Um, you might be able to get on a wait list. I am not sure about that. And that one is with Chantel, Chantel of 141 Designs. You say Chantel. I say Chantel. Which well, one is it? You're more friendly. Let us than know, I Chantel, which one it is. Is it Chantel or is it Chantel? <laughs> Sorry if it's not Chantel. <laughs> it's, it's a lot. Oh, Lord. Uh, they've been watching. They loved the live garden one where Cash pooped in it. it oh. That was one of our best ones. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really good one. Yep. He didn't, did he poop in the yard? I thought he just pulled his pants down. Because he pooped or something like that. Oh. Or, yeah. At least he wasn't like peeing in the. Oh. Yeah. yeah. That, that was great. I'm curious, so she heard about the upcoming retreats. Curious how you decide on the retreats you do and where. Pretty much, if anybody asks us, we're, we're ready. Mm -hmm. We're ready to go. We love to meet all of you, so it's it's so fun to, like, I, I love going to the retreats. Mm -hmm. And then we teach you how to finish an item, so then you have that skill, so you can go home and finish all your own stuff. Yes. All right, those are the questions I had for this week. We loved reading all your comments though about how long you've been with us and the milestones that you've kind of shared with us. Those are always funny, like the blender. Um, <laughs> gosh. He, I, I read one of them that <laughs> we went through three divorces, her, oh. yours, and mine. <laughs> <laughs> it's been fun, okay? Yeah. <laughs> we've had babies, we've had divorces, we've had marriages, we've had just a whole lot, and you guys have been with us and made us get through it. Um, so we appreciate all of you. We just want to say that over and over again. Hello. She's been so smiley this morning. Mm-hmm. But now she's probably crabby. She so. is, she's overdue for her nap. She's got a cute little outfit on. Outfit of the day, Costco special, came in a two pack. I love these little dresses with the bloomers underneath. It's so easy to change her. You just pop them off, pop them back on. <laughs> so easy. Okay, 
Uh, we had some things going to the Etsy shop this week. Yes. We're still in the garden theme for our roundabouts. Shoot, where are they? Oh. First we had fresh local honey, or local honey. And this one is done on that grater from Hobby Lobby. Mm-hmm. Or no, that was second, right? No, that was, I'm doing the sassy strippers first. Okay, well, we'll do the sassy strippers first. Oh, for love. Yeah. Let it be. Let it be. And I did that on that paddle from Hobby Lobby. So there's those two. And then this week is the beekeeper. And she's done on that little pedestal cutting board. Mm-hmm from Hobby Lobby. Best I can describe it. Not food safe, not for 14 year olds and under. So beekeeper is a little chicken who's holding. Yes, she's bee, holding a bee, a bee. And she's got sunflowers and she's very cute. Yep. And she's got glue. So we are starting our new series, which you will see probably the middle of next month. You will see the completed piece, but I've been working with Julie from Paises and Polka Dots and I'm going to go on my phone in a few minutes and just show you really quickly the finishing piece because it is just so cute that you guys are going to all need to do this series. And I know that Pack for Forty Shop has a club where you get your floss and everything every month and there's a few other. I think that there's a couple other stores that are doing clubs or what do you call it? An automatic every month you get it. so. Get yourselves on a list, get get signed up, and it'll be so fun. But um, Give, show them the roundabouts first, because we're going to forget. Okay, well, can you? Yes, yep, I got it. You, you won't be able to find I it. I will, I know. I'm going to save it this time. Okay, go ahead. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, Karen I don't know Reed trial is. We should show that. Okay, okay. No? Yeah, yeah it's fine. What was the difference? There's oh. A, oh, okay, I got it. And I'm not sure that we're going that way. Yeah. Okay, so first we had Welcome to My Garden, and this is a bucket from Hobby Lobby. Life is better in the garden. And this is a frame from Hobby Lobby, and it had that pink daisy trim. And then Bloom and Grow which this little wicker straw, whatever it is, sunflower came from Hobby Lobby. And I know you can find this online because the tag wasn't on it. And I said to Chelsea, I said, can you see if you can find this so I can use it? I looked up like woven flower or something like that, woven flower wall decor, but I put it all on. Do you on remember the, how much it was? $5.99 maybe, it was on sale. Okay. It was on sale. I Cheap. Don't quote me, but it wasn't expensive. Um, okay. so. Moving on, th that was our roundabouts. Those are all in our Etsy shop. You can find them, they're digital files you can download. Now, this is for the series that's going to, um, Monthly Wayne is completed. So now we're going to our Bloom and Root series and that'll start releasing next month. Yes, but the first ones won't go out until August. August. But we'll so you'll see, <clears throat> you'll see the finished product in July. Uh -huh. You'll be able to get the charts in August. Mm -hmm. Then if you're PDF only, um, you'll be able to get the and what, charts in what, September. What we're going to show you, it's not available yet. No. But you'll know no. that there's two pieces to it. One is the a house. A small. One is a large. We're just giving you hints. We're not talking through it yet. We're giving you hints. I thought we already told them. Well, it's your favorite things to stitch. Houses, flowers, and... Okay. Okay. It's very cute. So, once available, we'll let you guys know. We'll mm -hmm. link it, etc. We're it's just very excited. And we can't wait until you see it. Yes. I think that this might be, we've done a lot of series that I've really liked, but I think this might be our favorite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the new one's always your favorite, so. <laughs> Are we talking about kids? Is that why Hunter's your favorite? <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> not today. No. Um, we did get some stuff. In not since Tuesday, Hunter. What happened Tuesday? <laughs> oh. Um, okay. She's a whack dude. You just try to keep her in her lane, and sometimes she doesn't. Look at what mom got me. Oh, you can't see it. Why? 
they, we saw these online. Yeah, they're an anniversary. I think it's their 140th anniversary. Can you see them? There's flowers on them. So they do like pretty colors, like pink or whatever. I but mean, they're I gorgeous. It's the 140th anniversary, but I thought that they would be bigger, but these are the size. They might, they might, they always do the other ones in bigger sizes. I'll have to look at Blaine's. But I, uh, I checked like, didn't we get them at, um, tractor supply before? We've got them at tractor. So when I was doing my wedding, I wanted the pink ones and we got them there, but Blaine's Farm and Fleet also carries But they're them. so cute, especially like if you have little bouquets, they're yes. really cute. But I found them at my Walmart and because I have that Walmart Plus, I got free delivery. I got them the same day or the next day. Oh. So. My, some of my Florette Zinnias started to open. The length is short because I didn't pinch, so. I didn't pinch mine either and they're huge. They're t tall? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, well, when I pick them, I have to cut the bottoms off. Oh, no. Get out of here. Um, you have some dahlias opening? Mm-hmm. Did you get anything else done garden-wise? Anything popping up, anything new? Oh, I can't even think of anything. We're gonna plant my apple trees this weekend. Papa started his pumpkin tunnel. He's doing pumpkins. He had somebody come out and, okay, that's what we, oh, Father's Day. We went to a Kingfish game, which is the Kenosha, like the kids are still in college. So I don't know what you would call it, but it was a really fun game. They do stuff in between innings to make it fun for the family. Um, we went to the diner. What is it called? Oh, I'm 45. Route 45? Mm -hmm. We went there, um, but our back pasture was probably three, four feet. He hasn't mowed it at all this year. And so he cut in with his mower a big go-kart track for Cash, because Cash got a go-kart. So we ran the go-kart all weekend long. And then he had somebody come plow his other pasture to put out pumpkins. So we're planting pumpkins this weekend and cleaning and planting all of the profusion zinnias that mom got me and the hooplas. Okay, if you're sleeping on the hoopla, you need the hoopla. I wasn't convinced about the hoopla. They I'm a bubblegum girl. Hoop hooplas are. Petunias, proven super winners, tunis. super tunia. I'm a bubblegum girl. She was like, I love these hooplas. They're new this year, blah, blah, blah. You have to get them. I, I got a few. I still my bubblegums. I like, I like it all. I got them. a few. They are amazing. So they're like a fuchsia purpley on the inside and then on the white outer star area is on the out it's white and it, they are so pretty. I love yeah, them. Yeah, they have a border. Very pretty. Yeah. Don't sleep on them cuz yep. now I need to get some and nobody has them. I got her some last night. She did give me some. So I'm going to plant those this weekend. I'm going to take out all of the like lettuces and things that I had in my green stock until fall and then put those those in all right, um, we also got some fabric of the month from Fat Quarter Shop. If you didn't know, they have two clubs for fabric. It's a linen or an Ada club, and it's an 18 by 25 piece of Ada or an 18 by 27 inch piece of linen. And they send you really like neutral but beautiful colors each month. Great way to and build this, up your stash. This is your question for today. To oh. win any of the things, we need to know your favorite fabric that you like to stitch on. Yep, answer We that. know that ours is Monaco. Monaco. <laughs> Monaco. Monaco. Prairie grain. Really pretty. I would say like it's an olive tan. Yeah, it's really pretty. It's very, very pretty. I could see some of the things that we've stitched on the green that we dyed going on that. Yes. Yes, I can. I can also see things that we've stitched on black going on that. Yep. Very pretty. Like maybe for Halloween or fall. This is a very good Halloween-y color, yes. The orange and the purple yeah. and blacks are really <laughs> pop So we'll that. be giving away two pieces of linen and two pieces of Ada. Then we have the floss fix. They have different floss clubs. Each month you can build up your stash with colors. Right now they're doing alphabetical for floss fix. Um, six skeins, they do a week's dye works and then they do an MPI silk. So that's just a really great way because you don't always have to use the colors that your pattern designates. Right. I mean, you see in our Facebook group all the time, people switching colors or using mm -hmm. something close or what they have. A pink for blushing beauty is a pink, you know, whatever matches your stuff. You can do that same thing and this is a great way to build up that stash and use different colors. I brought up some previous finishes. All of them are patriotic. This is Liberty, right? Liberty Farms. Farms. So this would be really cute with all the the uh, the strippers that we did for the you know, had the chickens and everything. Patriotic um yeah. farmy. Not yet, we're not showing this any boys is yet. my country. One of my favorites. 
And this no. was we're not yet from Hobby Lobby yeah. from 2022. So I doubt you can get this straight. Here's my summer meltdown. <laughs> this is stars and stripes, and this pedestal is from Paisons and Polka Dots. This was one of our roundabouts last year. And land that I love, yes. or America land that I love. Land that I love. Land that I love. And this paddle was from, I always forget her name, what, Texas. Scarlet Sky Design. Scarlet yeah. Sky Design. I should know that because Scarlet. Yeah. I was supposed to be Scarlet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. At baseball last night. This is just. The, I asked you about mosquito bites and now I've got one. Well, I've got the stuff in my bag. Um, this little boy said, if I was a girl, my name was supposed to be Piper. That's what my, and I was like, well, my mom has a dog that's named Piper. <laughs> he also, t it was so cute. He also, we said, how old is your sister? Well, she's three, but we tell people that she's two. So she gets into places free still. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> same, same, <laughs> same. There might've been one year that for Disney World that cash was two twice. So <laughs> same. You shouldn't say that. <laughs> He rode what one ride and lasted an hour. That I mean, she's sweating. Meltdown! I'm sweating. <laughs> I can't leave my sweatshirt on. I'm like dripping. And you know those hormones where you just smell awful. I don't want to smell awful all day. <laughs> Is that just that? Maybe just me. I don't know. Um, okay, so we showed, we also got a gift. So this is from She's Melanie. <laughs> that is not true. All of your kids have the worst stankin' feet and earwax. So, so I don't want to hear it. It's, um, and then now all my kids have the earwax thing. <laughs> She's like, she has a chunk in her ear. I was like, well, she's your granddaughter. So <laughs> Mel's Crazy Craft Corner, I will link her below. I'll show you, but she first, um, they had a baby before Zinnia. She made me a burp cloth out of this really cute fabric. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We could have used that a little bit earlier. Um, and then she makes these cute little stands that would be great for your like tear tray or just your stitching area. Um, and she sent us a few for giveaway. So we're going to give away four of these today. Um, and they have different color backgrounds. They so all super say the cute. same thing? Yeah. So it says patient, artistic, passionate, skilled, kind of. No, but the cross stitcher. Yes. I thought she had different. Well, all the ones I saw, I'll open up some more. But yes, we'll give away the cross stitcher ones for today. There was at least four of those that I saw. Hey, Arlo, I didn't see you there. Um, okay. Do you have any haul or anything? No, I need to order some floss, but I have not had a chance to do that. And don't yell us, guys. We are trying to get a garden tour, but it is super sunny or super hot, and the plants are all kind of like this when it's super hot out. Um, I, she, and then it was supposed to thunderstorm. She wanted to do it, but I haven't mowed my lawn this week at all I'm like, because. They don't care. <laughs> yeah, you would care. Because I don't want it to get burnt with no rain and, you know, in the 90s and It did rain this morning? No. Oh, it no. rained at our house. Nothing. We haven't had rain. You've had rain like three times. We haven't had any. Mm -hmm. But I don't want my grass to get all burnt, so I've just been leaving it. So. I've been staying on top of watering. That's their running joke that I don't water things. So I have been staying on top of it. And, and I then she am... always buys plants. And then at the end of the season or the next year when it's like. <laughs> Did anybody want this? That is not true. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, true. I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna attach a picture <laughs> of the pink hydrangea Sunday, strawberry Sunday, or something like that that I gave to Destiny and Hunter. I okay. This all right. Let's go into it because you're gonna throw me under the bus. We when we moved in, we had one perennial area up against the garage and one around the flagpole. I have planted those out. They're full. The thought of digging out another area where I want to put it, like where it won't be trampled to death by kids running and throwing a football and a baseball and everything else and digging up all that grass makes me want to barf. So until we rent a sod cutter like we did here to get an area out, I don't plant. I'm like, I only have one perennial area. Now we're going to plant in front of the chicken coop in a pretty pattern and we're going to put some perennials there. But every time she's like, here, you need this here. You need, I'm like, I don't have a spot for it. So like, you have eight acres. I know, but I don't have a perennial spot. But my flagpole area is going to be absolutely gorgeous. We have the, what are they called? Cat mint mm -hmm. at the bottom. Yeah, but what kind should I be getting? 
Walker's low. Walker's low, which gets it's big, taller. Yeah. big and tall. Um, I think I have some cat's pajam Me meows there. Cat's pajamas. Cat's pajamas small, there. Short, and they don't match the other ones. And then I have hydrangeas, two different hydrangeas. So I have the Incredibles and I have um, Bobos. I don't know. And then in the middle, up against the pole, are red hollyhocks. And they just started blooming and I'm so, 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 so excited. So next year I'm going to double down on hollyhocks and put them in a few different places. Super excited. But that's my story. But that hydrangea lived over winter without any water as, as well as my wisteria that I bought last year too. I just never got around to planting it. I got sick when I was pregnant and digging a hole that big. I was like, God help me. Um, and so I gave it to them. I was like, does anybody want a hydrangea? She's like, it was half dead. The thing had <laughs> blooms on it. It had buds all over it. It was pure green. It was beautiful. I just like to tease her. And yeah, she did. They did. They're like, what about your apple trees? Are those dead yet? Have they haven't been watered in six weeks when I just got it the day before? Well, so I know <laughs> that you didn't plant those little white stars in yet because I looked at your stuff and I did not see them anywhere. Oh, I'm going and home and taking pictures. No, I'm going home and taking pictures of them. Oh my God, I'm going home and taking pictures. Matt, take pictures. Get outside, get off your conference calls and go take pictures because I, I, I sent you a picture that day. No, you didn't. She came over to my house to look at my plants. That's why she wanted to see where they were. Oh my no, God, I'm going to- I was um, kidding. I didn't look just for them. Oh, I'm going to send you, you your feed is going to blow up. No, I up. love them. I, I like the um, raspberry bicolor more. These are little tiny. I don't think you know what I'm talking about even. I don't think I had them then. Yeah, we we each got them. I said, no, you're getting them too, because I got I'm them. I'm trying to be whisper because then you're trying to go to sleep. <laughs> oh, yes, I, that happened too. I set my baby down. <gasps> <gasps> okay. Um. All right, so we had giveaways last week. We don't have any haul. I, I have an order in through Fat Quarter Shop, but I didn't get it yet. I ordered some floss, some sticky board. I need another Yeti. Um, I'm drinking a ton of water. I'm doing keto for a little bit, and but I broke it for the egg rolls. Had to. If you're in McHenry, you need to go there and get the egg roll sampler. Okay, so giveaways last week. So now you can come back, all right? And now you can show the stitching, okay? Okay. We had a little meltdown. Okay. In the garden. Oh, wait, 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 wait. and this is a PDF. Where is it? The bucket or that welcome. No, no. What is it? Oh, it's right under there. Donna West 7505, Nancy Bot 9757, and Tiffany 1234. Then let it be. <laughs> What's it called? Let it be. And it's a sassy stripper. It's a sassy stripper. Sassy stripper. Angie Hinton, 6891. Victoria Low 66 Stang. And Mommy Hobbs, 48. Then we had the Liberty What's in My Cup. Liberty What's in My Cup. It was on a... Maybe she put it back. It might be behind you. Yep. Here, Cash. This goes to Sorry, Crystal, Floyd. Crystal Longer, 529, Nadia Sows, and Crafty Mama, dash QQ9HB. Then we have the Liberty Dapper Doodad. It's a bowl. Right here in front of you. Here? It's on a star. On the star. S.J. Krug, 1948. Laura, you gotta put it up so they can see it. No, not that one. Right here. Laura P. 469. Nope, you gotta stand up and show them. Gotta have strong arms. And Leslie Gray, 2949. Then we have Uncle Sam's Fireworks. Yeah. Uncle Sam's fireworks. Please hold this back up. Goes to AF Cheryl, Robin Taylor 5352, and Seesaw 432. Creative Carol bags. Christine Hufford 2578 and Betty Gannon 9324. 
Yay. Then we have the God two Bless America thoughts. chart. Yep, two, two of those. Of and it's right behind us, so we're not taking it down. Yep, no, we're not take it down. Move your head. There's Kelly O Man. <laughs> Teacher Loves Beauty. And Laura Henderson, 812. Don't be alarmed. She likes the blanket over her face until she falls just asleep. Just on the corner. No, yeah, it's just, just side. It's not on her. Well, head. you have to. We're going to make it through this. Mm -hmm. From Fat Quarter Shop, we had the quilt pattern set where you got beechwood, you got crows in the corn. Nope, not that. Um, you got hullabaloo and morning. That goes to Kelly Robinson. Kelly Robinson, eleven forty-six. Quilter also to Maria Vanderspool, six four. Four four, uh, K Elva Elavi Ella Elavity. Sorry, A two two zero and Irene Hamilton seven nine one eight. Uh, that is a physical chart, so you, or physical package. <laughs> you see, you're smiling. I'm trying to get her asleep. <laughs> that too. Um, okay, now a chart of choice. So you get to pick a chart from our Etsy shop. Um, it has to be in our Etsy shop. It's a digital pattern. Pam King 8802, Terry CP 1324, Doxy Pups 2, Sandra Stevens 1620, and Gen G 9688. So just message me what digital file you want and I will send it over. Right? She wants to see herself. Yes. What is that? Are you pretty girl? Are you pretty girl? Say hello, Floss Tube. Say hello, Floss Tube. Careful with her hands. Hello. Hello, Floss Tube. Okay, so if it's a digital file, make sure you just send me what what you won, what you won, and your um, YouTube name so I can cross you off my list, and then I will send the file over. If it's something physical like the Creative Carol bags or the uh, four charts, or the four quilt patterns from Fat Quarter Shop, make sure you send me your physical address so I can get that in the mail. All right, this week. So to win these, you have to list the item numbers. You need to be a subscriber, like the video, and leave a comment with the numbers that you would like and the answer to our question which is which fabric is your favorite to stitch on yep so first of all we have the bloom and grow that's number one that's the roundabout number two is the beekeeper three opportunities to and win that's a sassy them. stripper land that i love dapper do dad stars and stripes that's number four. I need to go back. We need to announce the roulette. So um, the roundabout roulette winners, you win a $20 gift card to our Etsy shop. Mel Christensen, Mary Ryan Franz, Mary Beth Ryan Franz, and Sharon Peterson Yeo. Thank you so much for participating, everybody. We love seeing all of your roundabouts or smalls mm -hmm. finished up and displayed in your home. We absolutely love it. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Back to what you're showing. All right. So we did four? Yes. Number five. This is my country. It's another Dapper Doodad. And then. <laughs> you're smiling. I'm going to give away a Christmas one because okay. of. Okay. So I think we'll give them away. Oh. I thought the glass was cracking. It was just her bracelet hitting the glass. Candy Cane Lane. Because this is a PDF, so you can get it in time to stitch for next month. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six. Did you give away this? Hello. Okay, sit down. I did not. I did not. Do you want me to? No. So that was six. Number seven is going to be the fabric of the month, linen, from Fat Quarter Shop. Number eight is the Ada, and this color is called Prairie Grain. We're overtired. We're overdue for a nap. Ten. Two opportunities to win the floss fix from Classic Color Works. And those are all from Fat Quarter Shop. Thank you, Kimberly and team. And then uh, number 11 is four opportunities to win the cross-step stitcher. 
cute display. Okay, so what fabric do you like to stitch on? List out the numbers that you're interested in winning. Be a subscriber, like the video. Mm -hmm. Tell us a funny story as well if you need to. <laughs> if you do so, inclined. Um, okay. I should have asked him what fabric I hate to stitch on. That would have been funny. What fabric? Uh, <laughs> linen. What about you? Linen. Like the loose, the yeah. floppy linen mm -hmm. that's like a canvas sack or whatever Can't it is. It. Yeah. What is it? Can't like a, it. what are those, potato sacks or something? Like just like a mm -hmm. loose thing. Oh no, mm -hmm. I can't. You people that do, and the 50, 40 cap. Yeah. Oh my goodness. When I see those at retreats, like you are a superhero. I look at you and I'm like, wow, they've they got, got it going eyes. on and yeah. they, they are, wow. The, I was going to ask you, speaking of eyes, the place you order your sunglasses from, do they do prescriptions or no? Where What's do you it? order them from? Diff. Diff. Okay. I'll have Why? to look. I need sunglasses. I don't have oh. any sunglasses. I need sunglasses. Oh. I'm not sure. I do really like their sunglasses though mm -hmm. until they get broken. She has a few pairs. Well, <clears throat> <laughs> have to yep she has different outfits no that's not it i'm always putting them somewhere where i can't find them oh so normally i leave them in my car and then i i'm like i should wear them when i'm working in the yard sometimes and especially like when i'm weed eating and oh yeah absolutely mm -hmm. and pants well you always wear pants mm -hmm. yeah all right we appreciate you spending your time with us. <laughs> we hope you had a great Father's Day. Uh, we hope that you get to stitch this weekend. Mm -hmm. Hello. Relax and enjoy the beautiful weather. Mm -hmm. What else? We will see you before. Yeah, we will see. You. And we're going to try to do a garden video. Yeah. No, we're Hopefully not next showing we're them our gum. Thank you. I told you to keep it in your mouth and chew it normal. Don't be gross. Have a good July. Have a good July. Okay, do you want to tell them about your baseball game what happened to your baseball game so we are playing the easiest sandra b in the whole world maybe it's twice but maybe <laughs> them twice and uh, they were ranked number one in the seed lineup just like you i don't know the terms but they were it, there was four of them that were ranked the same and then we kicked that team out they're done playing for the last season <laughs> you're humble aren't you and the entire way there they're gonna win they're so good they're gonna beat us what did I tell you? To Don't play like a what? Winner. Play like That's a winner. Call it a game because it's a game of chance. And so, how many grand slams were there? Two, and it was both of their first time. So it was Holly hit his first grand slam, and Ethan hit his first grand slam. Yep, and you got walked. You only bat once, right? Yeah. They had to end the game early because of the rules. Um, it was too high of a score. They don't, the slaughter rule, is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. It was 13 to 1. So we're in the playoffs and we go to the next game now. It'll be on Tuesday, so we'll keep you guys updated. Maybe he'll get a shiny medal this time too. <laughs> we appreciate you spending your time with us. We yes. will follow us on Instagram. Get a garden video at, out next week. At Priscilla Blaine at Chelsea356, Priscilla's2000 on Facebook and Priscilla's2000.blogspot.com where you can see more of everything that we do. And I think that that's it. So thank you so much. Watch this on double speed. Watch the Karen Reed trial, it's great. <laughs> yes, that's what we've heard. All right, Chelsea told me today that, what's his name? Is not coming back to Yellowstone? Kevin Costner. I tell you, the shows that I try the, to get the, her to watch the and then she ends up I loving have, them. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. See, I'm glad we delayed. Shoot, where is it? We didn't talk about shows today. I'm still watching Your Honor. I'm watching Garden Answer, trying to get a feel for an orchard. If you have a home orchard, give me all the hints, tips, everything. Did you see a card? My Boston Rob autograph. No way. Yeah, it was on the table. Did it say to Chelsea? No, it did not say to Chelsea. Mm. Oh okay, we'll goodness. show it next week. Where did it it's go? Here. It, you should see the table. It's here somewhere. From Denise. Yeah. Denise right. sent me the Boston Rob autograph, and it's in a card. And she wrote a nice note. And where is it? Right up by your bed. <laughs> you are gross. <laughs> Just dreaming of Rob. 
I don't know. It's not under my stuff. I mean, oh, there it is. There it is. You covered it up. Weasel. Taking it home with me. Yep, that's it. Sit down. She said after she posted that, then she got home, her neighbor. <laughs> it's a coloring cotton. It's a coloring cotton tag. Let me see. That's Boston Rob, the guy who was on Survivor. The autograph. Super cute. Let me see. Is that awesome? Yeah. So thank you so much, Denise. It was an exciting getting the video, and it was exciting getting the autograph, even though Chelsea tried to cover it up and hide <laughs> it from me. <laughs> I'm putting it in this drawer back here. Not your nightstand. We will see you guys <laughs> next week. What's in your nightstand? <laughs> Baby stuff. Weirdo. <laughs> Baby stuff. All right. All right. We'll Bye. see you next week. Bye. Sorry. <laughs>